Hello, good evening and welcome to the Virtual Racers Club to have a look at another car going around at Norschleife. And uh, today we're, we're looking at the BMW 3.0 CSL 1973, the 73 model. So uh, yeah, why not? We're doing the uh, whole Nürburgring two and a half hours in the BMWs this ne like next couple of weeks. So why not get the old uh, Beamer out and have a crack, see where it ends up. So here we go. This is uh, a car made by BMW in 1973 and it's a road car. It was made in Germany. The engine code is M30B32. It's a naturally aspirated 3.2 litre inline six and it's capable of 202 brake horsepower. It's front engine rear wheel drive and it weighs 2,756 pounds or 1,250 kilograms. Its performance points in Gran Turismo 7 is 418.59 and uh, it's 4.660 meters long with a width of 1.730 meters and a height of 1.370 meters the bmw 3.0 csl 73 is a road car produced by bmw it first appeared in gran turismo 7 comes in 18 colors this lightweight model of the bmw 3.0 cs was developed to compete in touring car racing the bmw 3.0 cs a luxury sports coupe developed from the 2800 CS which was released in 1968 picked up where the 2800 CS left off powering the original 2800 CS was a 2.8 litre inline six that was called the big six for the 3.0 CS engine displacement was increased to three litres increasing power to 177.5 horsepower 188.0 foot per pound of, to improve stopping power bmw equipped the 3.0 cs with four four wheel disc brakes the car performance was so exceptional that bmw decided to take the big six racing so it built a homologation model with significantly reduced weight, this version called the 3.0 CSL. The L stood for light, which in English means light. Hey, see, educational. Weighed 200, kilo, weighed 200 kilograms less than the base CS, making it an absolute road rocket. Right, the used cars say, this magnificent BMW cemented the company's image as a premier motorsport manufacturer. Based on the 3.0 CS, mod, this model is significantly lighter. The L designated serves to emphasize this fact. Indeed, it quite literally stands for light. This later version features a powerful 3.2 liter engine, wide fenders and a large wing. The prominent aerodynamic parts led to some dubbing it the Batmobile. You can get this car it's when it turns up in used cars, and I think it's, it turns up quite often. And it's going to put you back 203.800 credits, 203,800 credits. And there is nothing else to mention. I really liked it. I really enjoyed driving it. I had a very bizarre relationship with the gearbox just didn't want to change it it was only four gears didn't say in that did it but it's only a four speed and um yeah da, da, da. <laughs> again that that fourth gear it downhill it's got some reasons but other than that it, it on the whole i was dreading to changing up to it but i was starting to scream at the top of three third gear so uh, I had to change up or it was just going to bounce off the top of the rev limiter. So yeah, it's weird, weird gearbox, weird gearbox. Fantastic car. This car was born to drift. I'm telling you, if you want yourself a fancy looking 
drift mobile and you don't want to look like everyone else take this out take this out for a drift because it just naturally wants to go sideways it was great fun to drive it really was and it, I mean it's 1973 it's really low on PP points I mean I'm sure a three litre engine it didn't feel slow I felt like I was having a good lap I, I was going around thinking this is this is tight bruv this is sick um, the, the suspension yeah it's uh, I'm sure they hadn't invented the spring in 1973 because the suspension still bounced like you know, I think they still use like wooden crickets the inside of the car oh, I'll wait until we're on the main straight because I start having a look around but yeah the, the, the suspension it has that 70s lol the, 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 the bounce like um, the American the American cars did but it didn't annoy me I didn't find that it was irritating I, I hit the curbs lovely and, and they didn't affect me look at the slide on her bless you and all the riding you you dirty beast I'm going to call her Helga and she can take it she likes it rough, boys, Helga, and, and she's up for it all the time. Uh, yeah, what more can I say? It's a BMW, so the back end is always fun on a Beamer. And uh, check out the BMWs of the uh, M4 variety and M6 at the same time, Group 4 and Group 3s all on track oh baby you like that don't you eh mm, let me let me can oh yeah go on yeah filthy helga go on gosh she's good um so yeah they're all going to be going around the nurburgring gp in qualifying this evening very soon i've left this a bit late i don't even know if i'm going to edit this in time Oi, get round there, Helga. Bloody hell. I'm telling you, I forgot. It looks better on the outside. It felt good on the inside. I thought, ooh, I felt like I was sliding through that corner. She's a cracker. She's a belter. So, um, do yourself a favour. I mean, the last time I looked, it was in used cars, but it's always in used cars. I don't think it's ever a time it's not in used cars. It's expensive, I know, 200 odd uh, thingy, what was it? You could race it in the under 450. Do you remember the Sunday Cups? Ages ago when you first bought the game. You could go back and race it in that. I mean, you know, you'll, it'll take you a while to re recoup your cash, but you'll have fun recouping it because that car is cracking. So yeah, the inside, the interior looks like some sort of a swingers club. It's all chrome and wood panelling. I thought, is this a sauna? Is it a swingers club? I don't know. And I think there may have been some swinging going on in them days. I know it wasn't the swinging 60s and 73, but there was something saucy going on when that BMW was hitting the road. Go on, Helga. Do us proud. Come on, girl. Do it for the Germans. So I had a great time in Helga. I couldn't keep myself contained whilst in Helga I just kept getting oh I hit the deck there yeah I made a mistake I missed just my braking sue me I was having fun inside Helga deep inside right that's the BMW uh, 3.0 CSL don't forget that L stands for light 73 handbrake nailed it Oh no. What what am I gonna do? That can't that cannot be. This will not stand. We cannot let this stand. So the BMW 3.0 3.0 CSL 73 has done a time of an 852.792. Puts it eleventh in our PP five hundred category. I need something stylish to call out the BP 500 league and um, I tell you I tell you give it a weight reduction and a few fancy bits it wouldn't be far off of the uh, the American muscle cars so the uh, BMW is representing Helga has represented 
but it's been the BMW M3 Sport Evolution 89, which has uh, it's been haunting me, that car, because it should be up there with the Mercedes and the Ford Sierra. And it's not. It's down there, and I must have messed that lap up in a major way, and I've not represented it. I'm going to take it out. I'm sorry, guys. It's going to be repeat FM. I, I, I've got to give the BMW M3 Sport Evolution 89 another crack. It can't be beaten by a car that's... 16 years older than it and the PP is loads lower so that, that confirms it the BMW M3 Sport Evolution 89 is going back on track oh, I better give it a livery so it doesn't look the same as the other video enjoyed that, that the, the 3.0 CSL it was a cracking drive get yourselves one get yourselves out on Nürburgring especially if you're into drifting you know who you are, Big Dan. Um, you're going to love it. It's going to be cracking. Okay, do all the things that YouTube like, 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 and subscribe, and comment, and share. It's very demanding, YouTube. They want a lot from you. But hey, Twitter's dead, so why don't you just hang out on YouTube nowadays? Turn that into your new social injustice site. Uh, that's everything. Join us at the Virtual Racers Club in Discord, in our Social Injustice site, and have fun with us. Peace and love. No, two-roo. And then peace and love. Peace and love.